If you consider using server-side tagging, but you're not sure about how much will it cost, then this video should help. I will talk about several options and various factors. So if you're wondering how much will server-side tagging cost you, the answer is, it depends. And there are various factors that affect this. First of all, it depends on what kind of a hosting provider will you choose and their pricing structure. Then it also depends on how many requests and how much data do you want to process with your server-side Google Tag Manager container. Because the container itself is free, but you have to host it and that's where the costs occur. And then it also depends on your technical background and skill set. So what are your options of where can you host your server container? You can choose from cloud hosting providers like Google Cloud, Amazon, Microsoft Azure. You can also choose from specialized server-side Google Tag Manager hosting providers like Step. And if you are very skilled with server management, you could technically even do this on some other server that you have. But personally, this is not my area of expertise. I am not very good with server management. Therefore, when I was evaluating options for my own projects or for clients, this third option is no go for me. Also, when it comes to cloud hosting providers, I have worked mainly with Google Cloud because that's the default hosting provider when you want to provision your Google Tag Manager server container. Therefore, I don't have experience with neither Amazon or Azure. That's why basically it all comes down personally for me just to Google Cloud or specialized hosting provider Step because that's the only specialized provider that I have used. So in this video, I decided to give you a rough idea of what could it theoretically cost you to host on Google Cloud versus Step. So Google Cloud pricing depends on several factors. The first one is how many server instances do you have or do you plan to have? Right now, the recommended hosting option in Google Cloud is Google Cloud Run. And one instance costs around $45 per instance per month. And the minimum amount of instances should be at least two. Because if at some point one of them fails, at least the other one will be able to handle the incoming requests. I mean, of course, to some extent. Then there's network egress or simply put outgoing data. So the more requests you send from your server and the more data they contain, then the more it will cost you. And then there are logs, but there is a free tier where you can have logs up to 50 gigabytes, which is a bit more than gigabyte, but you can think of it as 50 gigabytes. So the biggest cost in this case is server instances. Technically, it will start for you from $90 per month. But if you have some spikes or if you see that you get more traffic, then the number of instances might increase to three, four or so on. The cool thing about Google Cloud, if you have never used it before, is that if you get started, you will get $300 free credit, which should cover at least a couple of months, maybe even more, but that depends again on the volume that you're going to work with. Now, let me show you one practical example of how much I was paying for Google Cloud, and that was Cloud Run in particular, on my own blog. I was using Google Cloud for a while in the past, and maybe these numbers will give you a rough idea of what can it cost. So. In the past, when I was looking at a particular date range in my analytics, I was getting around 150,000 sessions a month, around 300,000 page views a month, and then over a million of other events in Google Analytics. My setup was pretty basic in the server container. I was mainly just using for Google Analytics 4 and Meta Ads. So this kind of setup was costing me around $100, sometimes maybe 120, but the average was around $100. So this includes server instances, also network egress. And when I was looking at my server usage, it was quite low. I mean, technically my numbers right here could have been like two times larger or more, and I would still probably paying somewhere in this range right here. Of course, the expenses would get a bit higher because of the network egress, for example, but two instances for me still would have been enough. Then we have Stapes pricing. So Stape specializes in server-side Google Tag Manager. They also have other features, but this is their main offering. So Stapes pricing is simpler because it basically is based on incoming requests. The more requests are sent to your server, the higher pricing plan you will need to choose. Also, there is a feature in Stape, which is called Stape Store. So those requests, even though they're kind of happening inside Stape, 
they still use your request limit. If you're unfamiliar with Stape Store, this is a more advanced feature, but still quite useful for some companies. So an example would look like this. You have a website and from your website, you get a purchase event with the email address to your server. Then your server at the same time makes a request to Stape Store asking, do you have more information about this particular customer with this email? And Stape Store responds with additional information, for example, first name and last name. And then you send that enriched event to other vendor like Meta Convergence API. So when your server sends a request asking for some data point and wants to retrieve it from Stape Store, that also will cost a request. Now let's take a look at my previous example where I had this kind of usage and let's see how much would it cost me to have the same thing with Stape. I have to admit that estimating the potential costs is a bit easier with Stape because with Google Cloud, there are so many moving parts and I've tried many times, but I've always failed trying to estimate the exact number of how much will I be paying next month or this month or whatever. The best way to find out your usage is to actually start using Google Cloud, then run it for a month, maybe two, and then you will get a ballpark price and better understanding of what will it cost. But in that case, Google Cloud's uh, free $300 credit can help you to better understand that. Anyway, let's go back to Stape. So if they have a calculator on their website, and if you go to pricing, then select server GTM hosting, then here they have a pricing calculator. So we will use advanced, and I will try to replicate and include those numbers from my example. So page views per month, there were 300,000. And then other events were more than 1 million. Then I was using one client, I was using custom loader, cookie keeper, I think I was using it. So let's try that and then calculate. So now it tells me that I will have somewhere around up to 2 million requests per month. But just keep in mind that this is approximate you might be actually getting more inbound requests because maybe some people don't give consent and they're not visible in your analytics, but they still use the requests needed to load Google Analytics or Google Tag Manager. But in this case, they tell me that I would need to use a Pro Plus plan. So if I scroll up, I see Pro, but if I increase the number of requests, I see the Pro Plus and the price is 50. And if I switch to the yearly plan, then they give me some discount. Looks like two months are free. So while I was paying around $100 with Google Cloud, with Stape, I would be paying around $50 per month with this particular setup. But as I've mentioned with Google Cloud, the server instance usage was quite low. So if I was having, let's say, two times larger numbers right here, then I would still probably be paying 120, maybe $130 with Google Cloud, while the Stapes pricing would increase. We can check that. And here in the calculator, if I enter 600,000, then let's say 2.2, and then everything else is the same, then calculate. And then they tell me to go to a business plan, which is $1,000 a year or $100, or sorry, euros per month. If I switch to the yearly plan, it will be somewhere around 80 euros per month, which still would probably be quite close or a bit cheaper than with Google Cloud. But of course, there might be some situations where Google Cloud might be cheaper, but this applies to websites with very high volumes because in the documentation of Google Cloud, where they talk about Cloud Run, they mention that two server instances should handle roughly around 35 requests per second, which is somewhere, I don't know, up to 100 million events, maybe less. But if we are more realistic, I would say probably up to 50 million requests, but it's still the number is pretty high. However, let's not forget that more things would then impact your pricing in Google Cloud, which means logging, then network egress. But for me personally, it's very difficult to estimate the potential final cost of Google Cloud Run because as I've said, there are very many factors that impact this. From my personal experience, since I am working usually with small and medium businesses, Stape for me was around 20% cheaper usually than Google Cloud. But again, based on these calculations for very large projects, 
Google Cloud might be a cheaper option. By the way, did you know that I have a bunch of free eBooks on Google Tag Manager and Google Analytics? So if you want to better learn these topics, then click the link below the video, download those eBooks and get started. So if you're wondering, should you be using service at Google Tag Manager? The answer is once again, it depends. What I am about to say next is very subjective and you might not agree with this and this is fine, but this is just my opinion. So if you have a small website that gets, let's say 20,000 sessions a month or maybe less, but again, this number is arbitrary. I just feel that this number is kind of okay. But if you have a small website, you have not a lot of traffic. You do just basic analytics where you just, let's say, open Google Analytics, you check your top pages, top landing pages, and then just want to get a very general idea of where those visitors are coming from. And then you're not running ads, or maybe you spend less than three or $5,000 per month. Some people would say that it should be around $10,000, but I would say, you know, you can start small even if you spend 5,000 or more. So if you match all of these requirements, then I would say you don't need service at Google Tag Manager. I just think that you will not benefit from the expenses that you will have to spend on hosting your server. But if you're constantly using your analytics to make marketing decisions, you actively run ads, and you want to have more control over what kind of data is sent to vendors, then I would say service at Google Tag Manager is something that you should definitely investigate and maybe even invest. Now, each business's situation is different, so I cannot give you like super universal answer, but if you ask me and you have doubts whether you should be using this or not, then I would say just give it a shot. Service at Google Tag Manager is not a silver bullet, but you can run it for, I don't know, two, three months and see if you see an improvement in your data quality. Maybe your return on ad spend increases or maybe acquisition costs decrease because you're sending more accurate data to, let's say, Google Ads or Facebook. But just keep in mind that if you take this path, there is no 100% guarantee that you will see a significant improvement. Many of the companies that I have worked with, they have seen an improvement, but there have also been some cases where they implement server-side tagging and almost nothing changes, or the change was very small, like, you know, one or 2%, and it was not worth paying for the servers in order to keep using server-side GTM. So in that case, after those several companies tried server-side tagging, after a while, they decided to get back to the usual client-side tracking. And for the end of this video, you might be wondering, so which hosting provider should you choose? My answer is, well, you should investigate what your company is already using right now. If your company is using Google Cloud, then use Google Cloud. If they are using, let's say, Microsoft Azure, then use that. Basically, you should use whatever the best knowledge is in your company. If your company is most skilled with, let's say, Google Cloud, use that. Then the next question is, what is your top priority? Do you care more about a fast setup of the server and then you just have features that you need and you're not overwhelmed by millions of other features that you will probably never use in your life? In that case, you will probably need to choose a specialized service like Google Tag Manager hosting provider. Of course, this option is viable if the answer to your first question is that your company is not using pretty much anything right now. So you're free to choose. In that case, you could choose the specialized SGTM hosting provider because you're not overwhelmed by many options and it's just easier to get started with service IGTM. And also in many cases, especially for smaller or medium businesses, it is cheaper than Google Cloud, for example. But if you want to have full control over what is happening, you want to have various customization options, you want to manage the servers, all that stuff, but this of course requires more technical knowledge. So if this is your priority, then you might want to choose Google Cloud. Why Google Cloud? Because this is Google's own hosting provider. And Google has a documentation for that, how to use Google Cloud with service side GTM. Many people in the community use Google Cloud. Therefore, your chances of getting support from the community are higher. When it comes to Stape, also many people are using that. So getting support from the community regarding Stape is also very high. Now, if you ask my personal preference, in the past, I was mainly working with Google Cloud. 
But now, and actually for a while, I've switched to Stape because it was cheaper for me. It's still reliable. The setup is quite fast. I'm not overwhelmed by a lot of features in Google Cloud because honestly, I don't want to spend a lot of time in Google Cloud. I mean, maybe except just uh, Google Cloud Run and BigQuery, but that's it. All the other stuff that is there, it's quite overwhelming. There's a lot of things and I just don't want to be overwhelmed by that. That's why Stape looks like a sweet spot for me. Of course, I am biased because that's the only specialized SGTM hosting provider that I have used, but they do a great job and I see no reason why I should switch to somewhere else. Hopefully this video gave you some clarity on the costs of server-side tagging. But the bottom line is this, with cloud providers, it's very difficult to estimate the price before you start using it. So if you decide to start with Google Cloud, their free credit might be useful. Run it for a month and see what happens. With specialized hosting providers like Stape, it's easier because their pricing is simpler. You just need to estimate the rough number of requests. If you found this video useful, hit the like button. That will help me understand what videos do you like and what should I create in the future. Also, if you want to learn more about Google Tag Manager or GA4, then subscribe to this channel. My name is Julius, this is Analytics Mania, and I'll see you in the next video.